Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be, it's gonna be a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video. I know I haven't been here for a while so I'm probably gonna stumble through this but we'll make it. Anyway, today we're testing out this new e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. I don't know why I took my glasses off because I can't read any of this. It says that it is, I don't know how new it is, I think it's pretty new. Um, skin loving ingredients, tremola mushrooms, hyaluronic acid, broad spectrum SPF of 30 sunscreen, but it's camo hydrating CC cream, full coverage, long lasting, dewy finish. Now I did try it on my hand a little bit. It didn't seem very dewy to me, but we are going to test it out. I got the color light 240 W warm golden undertones i don't i usually get neutrals i don't know if i didn't notice that or i just looked at the color i'm not sure it's gonna be fine right okay let's just do this so this is what it looks like and this is the color that i got can you see it yeah we'll see how well this is i think it's light which I'm light right now. Let's go ahead and take these off. I have already put on my primer. I used the YSL. I don't remember what it's called. Touche Clot Blur Primer. The one with the little gold flakes in it, my favorite one. That's what I used. And I just, I already did it so that it would have a chance to soak in. So I'm just gonna put some of this on the back of my hand, like that. That's what color it is. So it looks pretty light. Hopefully it's not too light. And then I'm just going to dot it on and then go in with a brush. And put it around. Anyway. And I didn't intend to be gone as long as I have been. But I have definitely not been wearing makeup for the last two months. So, how do you like it? It's, it's dewy now. So, it wasn't dewy on my hand, but it le definitely looks kind of dewy and it de doesn't look full coverage. So, let's just go ahead and push it around. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's full coverage. Maybe it's just buildable. But I'm not really into Full coverage. Can't see my skin right now. Since I haven't been wearing makeup, I'm afraid that if I put something really heavy, I probably would not like it. Just because I haven't had anything for a while. But yeah, I definitely don't see full coverage. Well, the color's all right. And it's much less dewy now that I've used a sponge. But that it's fine with me. I don't, you know, I want it. I want it skin-like, not so hydrating that it looks greasy. I don't know. It looks kind of dry right there. I've never really had much luck with Elf foundations. I've had. I like Elf products, but just the foundations I haven't really been thrilled about. But it's fine. We'll make it work. So. Now we're going to go in with concealer and I don't have a new concealer. So I think I'm just going to use this one. I think this is the Makeup by Mario one. But I definitely feel like I need it right there. All right, let's just go in and blend this out. I'll see how it plays with this foundation. Get rid of some of this purple on my lids. Yeah, I'm not liking it in the corner of my nose. It looks dry. And I haven't even powdered anything. And I know you guys probably noticed I have no lashes on because I took them off and I took my nails off too. And I just put these nails back on because I'm trying some, that solid glue I don't know if you guys, have, I've been bombarded with it on my Instagram. 
with ads for it and it looks like the thing that got me to try that is how it's so easy to take off with the alcohol and that it doesn't damage your nail that's what that's why it got me because I was fine with the glue that I was using as far as holding on my nails but my nails were so damaged and I needed to so I left them off for a while and then I decided to use to get some of that and use it and I have this is the first time I've used it but so far I really like it because I did have to take one off because I got a bubble under it because I squished it down too hard and then it bubbled so I ended up taking it off it came off perfectly just like it did in the the video the glue came off my nail without messing up my nail at all so I'm happy I'm excited I mean it is a learning curve I do have one here that's got bubbles under it so I'm probably gonna have to take it off but it didn't mess up the nail at all when I took it off so I could put it right back on where are we we are to blood a uh, bronzer I'm gonna use this NYX I saw this thing just a minute ago on Instagram she didn't use this she used merit and I'm hoping this isn't too dark but she pretty much went like this she just drew a line like this down here and then went down here oh that's getting dark huh and anyways then she did the same thing over here down here down here and then she went down here like this which I should have went all the way down there like that and then she went like this like I said hers was not as dark as this but she did it was fatter so she did bigger lines I think I'm just gonna take my regular blush I mean bronzer brush that I use for powder bronzer and she just she went like this and she pulled it forward but I think I didn't go back far enough over here so and she was using a thinner one okay it's not gonna work <laughs> I need a thicker brush a stiffer brush maybe this little guy will work because I can definitely see that line that I made Hmm. Yeah. I think that was a mistake. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to have to fix this a lot. What a great comeback video, right? How to mess up your makeup. And yeah, this is more powder than I would normally use for this part of my face. But this is just a big old fail, huh? All right, we're gonna go in and we're gonna fix this. We're gonna add, <laughs> have a new blush too. Do I even wanna try it? No, I think we're gonna wait, save for that for next week because we've done enough to the face. Let's just go in with a little of our Dallas and we're just going to put the slightest amount on our cheek because we don't wanna add anything else. All right, now I'm just gonna blend that together and then we'll add a little diamond dust. Fenty Beauty Diamond Dust is our highlight. Just use this to draw the eye away from the orange maybe put a little bit up here too now we are going to do some eyes because we need to I am going to do a quick super light dusting from my Natasha Denona palette just this super light one right here in this corner right here Ooh, uh, this way right there that one 
just to give it a little bit of coverage, depth, whatever. Pretty much all over, just a quick dusting. Now we're going to go in with a tiny bit. Should I use the orange one after all this warmth? Or should I use the purple one? I think we're going to use the purple one. I mean, what the heck, right? Oh, I forgot to tell you what this is. This is a new ColourPop thing. It's Meet Your New BFF Gel Cream Gel Liner. 18 hour wear waterproof and this is in the color acting up and it's so pretty it is I'll put it on my hand so you can see it it's like it changes colors with it looks green and then it looks purple can you even see it it looks dark there, but let me blend it out. It's gold and green and I don't know if you can tell. Anyways, it's really pretty. Maybe you can tell better on my finger. Come on. Get over to the middle. Can you see there's purple and green and gold? All kinds of pretty colors in it. And we're going to use it just a little. I really wanted to use it like as an eyeshadow like that. But then I just saw something else that I need to do. I really don't like what we did with this bronzer. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to skip that part. Um, actually, first, before we try this out, we are going to do some black push lining. So I'm going to use my Maybelline... Tattoo Onyx Gel Liner and I'm going to push line since I don't have lashes on I can do this and basically I put my finger right in the middle of my eye and I push and it kind of turns my lash upside down I mean so that I can get between the lashes and that's where I'm going to put this color between the lashes not oh I can't turn this up it needs to be sharpened not in the waterline but I'm just going to draw between the lashes, add a little product in there. I'm not trying to spread it out yet. I'm going to use a brush to do that. I'm just dabbing it in there. Now when you get towards the center, cor center of the eye, you're going to end up like in the waterline. But that's not our goal. And I'm only going to do one eye, and then I'm going to spread that out. And then I'll go back and do the other one, because you want to do it real quick before this gel sets. And I just go back and forth, and I kind of pull up to make a little bit of a liner line, a smudgy one. But I'm, I really just want to color between my lashes. I don't like it when the skin between my lashes shows. So that's what I'm doing. I'm basically making a line of color between my lashes. That is more than I wanted, but I like it. So we're good. Now we're gonna take our purple and we're just gonna put a little bit in the inner corner and the outer corner. Just a little tiny bit of a line out here and then kind of blend it in because it's so freaking pretty and then we're going to put it just right in this water line right here and then just kind of tap it to make it smudge a little but not get it everywhere. 
Okay, I got the purple on. I like it a lot. So let's do our lashes. Now this is difficult because I don't have any lashes. That is why I'm not wearing my fake lashes right now because I would like my eyelashes to recover a little. And so I'm just wearing mascara, which we haven't tried any, had any mascaras in a while because I've been wearing lashes forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl them. And we're trying out this new, I think it's new. It was new to me. Uh, can't read it. Upside down and backwards. It is Waterproof The Falsies Surreal. And it is a Maybelline product. And it's in this purple one. It's supposed to be lengthening, I think. It doesn't look black. Hopefully it's black. I thought I got black. Yeah, it looks black. It doesn't look like it's getting them any longer. And I would say that, you know, I've gotten a lot worse at putting on mascara because I haven't done it in so long, but I'm pretty sure I remember that I was always bad at it. I always get it all over my eye. Luckily, it comes off real easy. All right, well, I can see lashes, but they didn't make them, like, super long. So we will... I'll do the other eye while that dries. Okay, I did my other eye. And then I went in and I cleaned up all the mess I made. And I did my eyebrows because I just did. And I used the same eyeshadow that I put from the Natasha Denona palette where I, that I put on my lid, this one right here. That's what I used on my brows. So really all we have left now is the lips. And I'm really into minimal. So we're going to use the Laneige. And just put a little on it. I want to get some of that Summer Friday lip oil. It's all over TikTok. But it's sold out on Sephora's website. And I was going to go to my Sephora. That's, but I only have one that's inside Kohl's. So they probably won't have it. But I'm going to try to get it because I saw Daryl Ann Denner and she said it was better than any of the lip oils that she's tried that they were kind of the Dior one was kind of a gloss almost. It was too thick and sticky and she said this one wasn't. So I do want to try that maybe next time. Anyways, what do I think of this foundation? It's not bad. I definitely don't think it's full coverage. But, you know, other than the fact that we, I really messed up with that bronzer, <laughs> I, th I like, I like the, the look I've made. I like it better when I have lashes on because I don't like clumps in my lashes. But, and as far as this mascara goes, eh, it's meh. It'll do, but it didn't really make them long. Of course, I have to know that I don't really have much lash right now and I'm spoiled from wearing fake lashes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I, did I tell you what these were, the ColourPop ones? Because that's what we tried. I really, really like these. I also have this one here, which is another color. It's, it's like a peachy color. Oh, why don't I just put my glasses on? It is the color movie star. You want to see what color it is? I'll show you. We'll probably try it in another one. Oh, here, open it at this end. I tried these two. They had some more. They had like pinks and stuff. But these are the two that caught me. This one looks really gold now. I'm going to put it on this side. It is really gold. Did 
that light just get brighter? It seemed like it did. Maybe the sun just came out. Anyway, this one is like gold and orange. Can you even see it? I can't. Anyway, we'll try it. But I love this idea that I got. That, and that's basically all you do is you put your liner on, which I wasn't going to put that much black on. It just smeared that way. But, and then you put just a little on the outside and the inside of this of these colors. Actually, they that person was using a, a powder shadow to do it with. And she said, what you do is you look at your eye color and you go, you find it on the color wheel and you go to the opposite side and that's your color. And I don't have a color wheel, but I looked at hers and I'm like, I think it would be a purpley pinky thing for the opposite. So anyways, that's why I picked that one. But my skin tone has a lot of yellow in it, so I thought the peachy one would be good too. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for continuing to watch. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!